So you guys want to make fast money in Red Dead Online. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Like I said, today we have a new money making location that you guys can rinse and repeat over and over in this video to get some money fast. You can also hunt and fish, but this is just a location to get some quick jewelry and other items and supplies to loot either for your own character in Red Dead Online or you could sell over at the fence or butcher or or any other place in the game like that. So this money making location is in New Hanover. It's actually in the Heartlands and it's right underneath the H as you guys can see here. The location that you guys wanna come to is right on the map right here. Now you're gonna go inside of that house. Now before we go to this location, I just wanna let you guys know about a gold bar giveaway I'm doing here on the channel. I'm giving away free gold bars in this video. If you guys wanna enter that giveaway, all you need to do is go down in the description and click the gleam.io link to enter. But basically the rules are, subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and comment down below what's one thing you guys wanna buy if you win gold bars. Like what is the item that you guys want most in the game? For me, I really want the Missouri Foxtrotter as a horse, but I need to get up to rank 58. So again, I'll show you guys the location. That's how you enter the giveaway. But let's show you guys the location right here. So it's in New Hanover. You want to come to this house right here, and you're going to come inside. And in this location, you have a bunch of stuff. I usually start at the table, and I just do a little loop. So you could take some extra food off the table, which is really good for your character. Now this... Uh, the items in this house seem to spawn faster than usual, which is kind of nice. There's cigarettes right here, which for some reason I haven't been able to take because I came in here before. Um, and then you can also loot these cabinets in here as well. I'm actually noticing that some items that I was able to get before aren't spawning, but you can take some guarma rum. You can also take some canned fruit in the cabinets. And also some canned meat if you guys want that. So you just take that stuff, of course, you guys can use your eagle vision or eagle eye to kind of check out the stuff you can loot. Ground coffee to make some coffee back at your camp. I noticed if you guys are back at the camp for an extended period of time, it refills your cores. I also got a new bedroll and a tent to actually refill my cores faster. But this is what we want right here, and this is where the money comes in. So you want to go and take that jewelry, and that's going to be the most important thing. You actually get some silver emblem rings and pocket watches and things like that in this location. And then you can also search the drawers. I actually haven't found anything spawn in here yet in these three drawers that I've opened. And let's open the last one. It doesn't seem like there's anything in here right now, but I think some items do spawn in here. And of course, there's some potent snake oil on this shelf right here, up by those tubs of water and, and liquid and things like that. You have a spool, and I think that's everything in this room. Like I said, if you guys want to check again, you could just use uh, your eagle vision and kind of see if there's anything on the table. Like, see, I almost missed it right here. There's some cheese and some more Kentucky bourbon on the kitchen table as well, which is really nice. So you just want to take that stuff, and all this stuff will sell for about $10 or $15 over at the fence, which is pretty nice. So you can make some quick money. Just if you're coming by this location, might as well come here and make that money really quick. Grab this stuff, loot it. If you guys want to see more money-making lo locations, let me know down in the comments as well if you guys want to enter that free gold bar giveaway. Just click the gleam.io link into the description to enter, but basically just subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed, and comment down below what's one thing you guys want to spend gold bars on if you guys do win the giveaway here on this video. So Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos. Now that I've looted that house, I want to kill some of these... Some of these deer here. Oh, I missed. Oh my god, dude, I'm so bad. There we go. We're able to get one. It looks like the other two ran away. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get them, sadly. Oh well, we tried. I want to skin this deer real fast, and then we're going to head to the fence and just sell this stuff. Um... Got the white-tailed deer. We'll skin them. We'll take some meat. I actually noticed how helpful it is to actually just go hunting, like, a lot of the time in this game. Like, if you spend a decent amount of time hunting, not even just for money, but just to get some extra food, you don't need to buy anything in the game. Like, you need to buy ammo and things like that if you don't find enough ammo to loot, like, in houses and things like that. That's one thing I wish this money-making location had was actual ammo that you can loot. But if you guys want to see some videos of that, I know some other locations... It's also funny because I'm using this uh, Arabian horse in this video. I usually use my Black Chestnut Thoroughbred, which is the ultimate edition multiplayer bonus that you get, like one of the one of the gifts that you get. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I slapped a white mane and a white tail on this horse as well. I like the Arabian. I have two horses. I have the Black Chestnut and this Arabian. But I think I prefer the Black Chestnut. It's a bigger horse. This one's a little bit too small. And since my horse bonding is glitched at zero all the time, 
Uh, you know, in terms of levels, like level 1 or level 0, this thing just bucks me off right away, and there's really no point in using this horse. But I want to try it out. I think, is that another... I think, was that a 3-star? Hold up, I didn't look. I gotta check it out. I wanna see what that horse... Or not what the horse was, what this deer was. There's another deer in the distance, but we're not gonna go after him. You're gonna have the opportunity to live, my friend. Uh, it's a 2-star white tail buck. But hey, you know what? It's still worth grabbing some extra... You know, meat and your pelt. Thank you for the antlers as well, buddy. You're going to taste really good. I want to go back to the camp and show you guys the new camp upgrade I got. Because it's pretty sweet. There's also a coyote over here. Hold up there, buddy. I'm just trying to do this. Like, every animal I see, I kind of just want to take out. Because, you know, you get, some, you get some good stuff. So, before it gets too dark in this game. Because the day-night cycle lasts like two seconds in Red Dead Online. The night lasts longer than the day. It should be the opposite. Seems like night takes forever, so I end up sitting in the lobby waiting for it to be daytime in a while. So let's go ahead and sell some of this stuff. So you can sell the silver emblem ring, and I think that's about all we can sell at the fence. But you know what? We're going to go, and I guess we're going to have to go to the butcher and actually sell the rest of the stuff. And uh, maybe even the general store as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're here at Rhodes. It's still nighttime. It's 1.28 in the morning in-game. But we're going to sell those animals we just hunted. Because, you know what? It's worth it. You get some extra money. You guys came to watch some money making in this video. No, we don't want to buy. We want to sell. I actually don't want to sell. Well, I guess we could sell the meat. Might, might as well, right? I was going to say I could use this to cook. But, no, we're going to sell it. We are going to sell it. We're just going to do that. Get some of that. Start selling the pelts. Look at that. We made some decent money right here. Very nice. Trade award. 50 animal products sold to a butcher. Are we... I think... Yeah, we did reset that challenge, I'm pretty sure. We want to... We already got the buckle, and we're going to resell it again. It's always worth resetting these award awards, guys, because you get, like... I think .20 uh, gold bars, which is, like, 20 gold nuggets, which is, like... Really, really good, I think. If you guys want to make some gold bars, just keep doing those challenges over and over. Also, picking things helps, like picking different materials and whatnot. That's also worth it. I do want to just stop in the general store real quick as well and kind of see if you can assist me here. Nope, browse catalog. Nah, we have our gold guns. We have things that we want. I kind of want to try a hat, though. Are we high enough rank to get a certain hat? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go over here, and let's go to hats. I really like the gambler hat. I just wish they had the same Arthur Morgan gambler hat from the story. But it appears they do not. Okay, we can view it. We can buy the gambler hats. Because we are a high enough rank now, I think. What's a hat that will suit us here? It seems like brown. Brown could do the trick. There's really no difference. There's actually no difference in those hats. But this one... Black. This one seems to go with our character most. So I think we're going to do this one. It's $35. <laughs> so much for money making. This is money spending. But let's do it. Let's just buy it because might as well, right? I wanted the gambler hat. This is really the hat I wanted to complete this outfit. Because if you guys don't know, this is the Grizzlies Outlaw outfit. I think you get it for the special edition in the story mode and also the ultimate edition in online. I'll go in the light so you can kind of see. I mean, I'm sure you've seen other YouTubers wear this, or maybe you guys even have it yourself, but it's just such a nice outfit. Oh, actually, the hat looks a lot different in the light. It looked more brown over there, but the picture was green, so I got it, because the look of it still looked brown, but yeah, it does look green. Uh-oh, we just wasted money on it. Okay, we'll come back later, I'll get a new hat, but <laughs> I just spent $35.70 on a hat for no reason. Oh, man, what is this? What happened here? Some people died. Some people were shot and killed. And we're gonna loot them. They're lawmen, too. I hope we don't get a wanted level for doing this. My honor is still, like, all the way down below. It's going up a little bit. I did that San Denis uh, cop shooting method for quick XP. And it just tanked my honor. And I haven't been able to get it back up. I thought it wouldn't be too, too hard to do it, but it looks like it is. I think there was another dead body over here, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, it disappeared, it looked like. Okay, great. So now, next on our list is actually, I think, what we should do... Do you guys want to do a stranger mission? How about that? I could do a stranger mission. It looks like it's going to be morning pretty soon. What does this lovely gentleman have in store for us today? Player assassination. There's a guy right outside here. So he better be the one that we assassinate, because that's going to be 
some really fast money in Red Dead Online. I'm definitely gonna edit out that cutscene. That was like a minute long of that guy talking. Damn, that just tanked our honor again. Rip. Okay, we need to eliminate Juan Loten. So let's see where he is on the map. Is he close by? Oh my god, he's right in town. Oh my god. Did he just leave? No, he's in a store, so I can't chase after him. Oh my god, is he hiding? That's not fair. Okay, he's outside. We can get him. He's up there. He has the high ground on us in the church, so... Got him! Alright, challenge complete. Revenge, 5 XP. We also got some nice money for that. Some extra 5 XP for headshot and distance. Got the nice dollar and 25 XP in total. Another dollar. Okay, that's interesting. 25 XP. It keeps giving us extra XP, so that's really nice. I think also... Hold on, it says we have unopened parcels. Is that because we hit level 40? I don't think so. No, I can't see because that little notification isn't going away. No, we're almost level 39 though, so we'll do another treasure hunt soon enough. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you make some extra money. Just a nice jewelry location to find some quick money in the game. You know, it's nothing completely game-changing, but... It seems like people's camps spawn around here in the heartlands in New Hanover, so people are always traveling this way to get to San Denis or Rhodes or Valentine or Van Horn or Ansberg. Like, it all kind of joins in the middle here. So while you're passing by, you might as well come to this location and make some quick money. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. Again, the gold bar giveaway, if you guys want to win some free gold bars, just subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and comment down below what you guys want to buy in Red Dot Online with your free gold bars. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next money-making video. Peace out.